a lot of blame is put on government. Uh, we hope that today you can respond uh, for the government on some of the issues. First, solar is so expensive. And yet the ministry, like your ministry, is supposed to make sure that renewable energy, like solar, is available to the people. What are you doing to make solar available? As you are saying, solar is expensive. Depends in the context you are talking. Mm. To me, I'm a principal energy officer in the ministry, and I work on solar. Solar is cheap. Explain to us, how, how, how is it cheap? Because people yeah. perceive that it's expensive. It is cheap. Mm. It's cheap. You know, like when you, you, as you are aware, the grid extends in very small areas. There are some people who are far that every day he has to take 1,000 shillings to get a border border, to take a phone to charge, and later come back. Then he goes in the evening to pick it. And a day you can spend 3,000 shillings on a phone. But with the solar system, the cheapest on the market, you can charge your phone at home. So the issue of solar, of the upfront cost, which was mentioned in the, mm. in the whatever the preview before, is that uh, you are paying, if the, all the umeme, people who connect on umeme are told to pay their electricity bill upfront for the next 10 years, I assure you also, you will not afford you yourself. Mm. <laughs> so the challenge with the solar is that you are buying all your electricity. Mm. As our school Soroma has done, mm. they have bought the electricity using the 400 million for the next 10 years. So what they are going to do, they are covering their money, but you pay up front. So solar is not expensive, but the problem that the upfront cost. How has government done to help this? First of all, my colleagues who have been on the floor, they have really answered a lot of questions which government has put in, which government has done. All what has been talked here and all what is done are the outputs of our activities in the ministry. No, but uh, the, the person who was here, the, the, the champion, mm. his thing was, uh, his solar system was installed by a German company, yeah, not but, government. Yeah, because one, the ministry, before, I don't want to go into history, mm. but before, solar was not working in Uganda. Oh, so the ministry <laughs> did demonstrations, mm. did awareness, did promotions, and even created a conducive environment. I will ask you, will ask the champion whether if he paid any tax on all the components he imported. <laughs> if he paid any tax, then so government has given fund. a tax exemption. <laughs> so that solar is more available to mm. the people. And if there is anybody mm. who pays tax on a solar product, please just bring me that thing. Even now, to improve on the usage of solar, now currently, there is a company which has brought a very good TV, flat screen, consuming 13 to 15 watts. And the, under the policy of Africa, they say, tax exemption for specialized solar powered equipment. So we are trying to remove that. So that people in the village should also enjoy life like in town watching the TV as somebody was saying. Okay. <laughs> you have heard from Wilson, who is from the Ministry of Energy. You at home could have a question about accessibility of solar or any other question. There's a number that's showing at the bottom of your screen. Call that number or send an SMS to that number and we'll get you in touch with the people that you see on the program today. Let me go over to the audience. Do you have any question for Wilson? Yes, gentleman in a yellow t-shirt. What's your question? My name is Lucky Moore and I'm asking about solar panels. As government is concerned about solar water eaters, because there is what they call PSFU, you pay 50% and the government pays, pays other 50%. How is it that he's not paying for solar panels? Can I All right, please go ahead for the question. Yeah, just for the information of the viewer, government is subsidizing solar. And uh, you know, like the ministry, as we work, we have a lot of companies. We have, we have the Rural Electrification Agency. Mm. There is a program called PVTMOA, Photovoltaic Targeted Marketed Approach, whereby the people in the rural areas are being paid for a subsidy of up to 35% for the, 
for a small panel, for small systems, up to 35 watts, up to 50 watts. And these systems, you can get them also on credit to try to remove the upfront cost. You can go in some financial institutions, you just can put your name there, and you, you sign the bank. Give us some examples of these financial institutions. Yeah, there is a Post Bank Uganda mm -hmm. Limited, there is a Opportunity Bank, I think Opportunity Bank, or Equity, F F FICA, there's a FICA, there are about six or whatever. Oh. Then also in the ministry, we are nurturing a company called Uganda Energy Credit Capitalization Company. This is a financial arm which is trying to remove the, which is trying to provide the equity for energy projects in general. So I think government will have really done a lot in the energy sector. Okay. okay.